The cabinet rejects that's happened in uh, Tamil Nadu. We're getting reactions on that. Kamal Hassan has now packed Udayanidhi's elevation as the deputy chief minister. He's congratulated Udayanidhi over his elevation to the post of the deputy chief minister. Udayanidhi is the new deputy chief minister of the state. Then it is Stalin getting uh, congratulatory messages from Kamal Hassan. There you see pictures on your screen as well. And uh, just day after he was elevated to the position of the Deputy Chief Minister, he gets congratulations from Kamal Hassan. Pramod Madhav joining me for more on this. Pramod, could you? Tell us more about this meeting that took place. We see bouquets being exchanged. Uh, is there anything you know about what the conversation was between the two? And just to tell our viewers as well, what has been the equation between Udayanidhi Stalin and uh, Kamal Hassan previously? If you could tell us that as well. Well, we can very clearly mention that Udayanidhi Stalin has always been a fan of Kamal Hassan's work when it comes to cinema and he also has like special respect over Kamal Hassan and that's what you could see as a reflection over here. Now it's a very important day for Tamil Nadu and DMK because Tamil Nadu is getting another Deputy Chief Minister. In former AIA DMK regime, it was O. Pandit Selvam who was a Deputy Chief Minister and currently after almost three years, now it looks like Tamil Nadu is in the need of another Deputy Chief Minister and that being Udayanidhi Stalin and the actual elevation is supposed to occur by 3 p.m. where even though he's already a cabinet minister he will be present as Sendil Balaji and uh, like a few more ministers all I mean, Sendil Balaji is taking uh, uh, his uh, uh, oath as once again the chair uh, the uh, uh, another minister and like certain portfolio changes are also occurring and we are expecting within the Stalin to be a part of it thank you Pramod for all those details uh, so a close rapo as Pramod point out points out that uh, the two of them always had always been a big fan of the Stalin of Kamal Hassan, the actor, and now he gets his backing after being elevated as the Deputy Chief Minister of the state. Now, Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has elevated his son's portfolio and has named him as the Deputy Chief Minister of the state. Along with the Deputy Chief Minister's post, Stalin Jr. will also be handling planning and development portfolio as well as the youth and welfare as and sports development portfolios as well. This comes after Chief Minister Stalin hinted on cabinet reshuffle several times in the past few weeks and now the father-son duo will head the state. Chief Minister Stalin has also reinducted scam-tainted Senthil Balaji in his cabinet. Senthil Balaji was granted bail on Thursday due to trial delay in the cash-for-job scam case. Meanwhile, BJP slammed the MK Stalin and uh, stamped the MK Stalin government and termed the DMK as a private limited parivaric company. It's a fact. It's a hundred percent fact. It's a family party. This should have happened long time before. I don't know why they took so long. They, this this talk is going on for a long time. The chief minister will be Mr. Udayan Stalin. And uh, they asked the cadres to talk about it, the ministers to talk about it. Without leaders' permission, how can the ministers speak in the stage and the press telling that we want Mr. Udayan Stalin the deputy CM? Why not any senior there? Why not they give a chance to any senior there? He just now came. He's a minister. He's a very powerful minister, Mr. Udayan Stalin. Why now he wants to become a deputy minister? Why not to a senior person in DMK? So that is a family party. Everybody knows. It's a fact. It happened, and not only that, Mr. Sentil Balaji came in bail only yesterday. He's not, he, they are not saying he's not, I mean, he came in a jail, I mean, for bail only. Still, his case is there. You don't know what is going to be the verdict. But he's becoming a minister tomorrow. Elevation of Udinidhi as Deputy Chief Minister marks the end of DMK going forward. And we've been saying, we have titled them Prince last three years after 2021 elections. This is the perfect example of dynast rule in the name of democracy. DMK is all about family. That's a family. Appointing ministers or deputy chief minister is the prerogative of the, the chief minister. We don't uh, deny that. He has got all the right, but Mr. Udayanidhi Stalin has got no maturity 
to become a deputy chief minister not only the deputy chief minister he doesn't have the, he is not matured enough to become a minister also a person becoming a minister degrading demeaning saying that eradicating sanatan dharma and he don't apologize for that how can he become a deputy chief minister one thing is very clear these parties are of the family for the family by the family only family first not nation first they are a private limited parivari company and therefore father then son then grandson it keeps going on and the entire india alliance is like that these all setting a very wrong a uh, precedence in the tamil nadu politics uh, definitely there will be a problem um, uh, among the cadres and the senior ministers first now they will accept but definitely they will boil in their mind because uh, he is such a junior because he is the son of uh, stalin and grandson of kalinger he was made the deputy chief minister and that is the equal opportunity so it is uh, they have set a very wrong example this uh, they have replaced dynasty with dem- uh, they replaced the democracy with dynasty which is it's not a good thing to happen in tamil nadu politics